Why, hello. Is it 2023 already? It's been almost a year. It's been a long time since I've sat in this chair. Well, not like this chair, a different chair. It's good to be back. My setup has moved from my room to the basement, and it is cold down here. This is the first time that I've actually gotten to use the green screen. <laughs> I uh, did the unboxing video, and then it's been sitting on the floor since. Just in its little case. But now here we are. Back in the saddle. As usual, my hair is shower fresh and soaking wet. I got my headphones. I have this big old water bottle. And today, we are playing Dredge. Now, I thought that Dredge had already come out. Um, I didn't realize that it had only been the demo. Um, so here we are, playing the actual game. You don't know. It's like a fishing horror game. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a Lovecraftian sort of thing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, here we are. I have this cool new little overlay thing. And yeah, welcome to Dredge, y'all. And welcome back to the Shubles channel. Let's get right on into this table is shaky. I am so sorry. Dredging the depths. It's so nice to be back. Angler wanted. I love the art. Look at that. Look at these shadows. Well, that's not good. That's very not good. It's literally the whole point of the lighthouse is to prevent that, but okay. I might have to, like, finagle some settings and stuff as we like, go, but, you know. This is such a cute little town. Monday, day one. Also, don't mind that I'm stuffy. I'm getting over a cold that I had for, like, a good week and a half. It was horrible. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, oh, well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of your old, to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of there. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Pursuit up. Pursuit added. Finally. I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep an eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Greater Marrow. Undock. Move forward with W. Oh! S for reverse. And A and D to turn. Okay. I don't know where we're going. Rotate, adjust height. Move to a fishing spot. Look for splashes. And press F to start fishing. Disturbed water. Okay. Oh! Okay, I see. I'm gonna suck at this. Oh, and it's like a little Tetris. Can I? I can rotate these. Put you there. 
Okay. Oh my god. I have to just start... Yeah, I was gonna say, I just have to start pulling it sooner than I think, and then it's like, actually, that's also incorrect. Okay. It's gonna just take me a little bit of getting used to, that's all. Um, can I... I can leave. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking specific actions. Okay. So I guess eventually... I'm gonna be able to like go farther out to fish? Is it gonna just want me to stay like in this little cove for now? Can I catch different fish depending on the weather? Oh my god. There we go. I'm only catching cod. Is there anything else in this lake? Um, that remains to be seen I guess. Do I catch different fish depending on if I actually hit these correctly? And yet this is still somehow easier than the Stardew Valley fishing. There are no fish here right now. Okay. I've caught nothing but cod. Um, toggle your light by holding E. Um, oh, I'm pressing the wrong, oh, okay, I'm just dumb, that's okay. How will I know when it's time to, like, pull the boat into the dock, like, other than it, like, being dark? Hello? That actually scared me just a little bit. I don't know. Oh. I don't know why that scared me, but it did. Am I just supposed to catch all of these? Am I destroying the local ecosystem? <laughs> Single-handedly. Um, am I supposed to... Spot has been depleted. Yes. Okay. Exposure to fog and other things can increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. So does that mean I have to go back to the dock now? How do I put the boat in the dock? Because I will... Oh, F. You look lost, fisherman. Are you... After somewhere to sell your catch, Greater Marrow's on the west side of the bay. Keep an eye on the lighthouse, eh? Wouldn't want to lose sight of it for too long. Hello, man with pipe. Kind of looks like Gandhi. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other bubbles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello. Is that... No. I don't believe we met before. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I have fish. I guess he won't want these. Well, he did say I would have to... Uh, let's tab. Cabin. Oh! Pursuits. Catch fish for the day. The mayor asked me to catch as many fish as I can, then head back to Greater Marrow. Meet the mayor of Greater... Meet the mayor of Greater Marrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Some Seems nice enough. Warned me to be back before nightfall, though. Says something about fog. Bit dramatic. Mm. Oh! Oh, that's one of those ore fish. I only know that because of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but... Discovered 2 twen 128? 
Oh my god. And look at all these places that we can fish. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. I am 100% going to get lost. Oh. Awesome. Oh, it keeps record. I guess this is when we can catch them where we caught them. This will be how much that we've sold them for. Cool. Um, oh, and we have a map. Awesome. I am on the wrong side of the bay, but I kind of figured that out already. Okay. Um, how do we sleep? I would imagine... Is it going to make me... I'm vaguely worried about doing this. This doesn't seem like a good thing to be doing, considering they explicitly warned me to be back before and I Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. The rocks literally just come out of nowhere. Oh no. Oh! oh. Arrow squid overboard. What is that shiny thing over there? This is not a good thing to be doing. F to inspect. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crashing endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have broke uh, would have brittle broken bodies. Would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stones shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Really, all that to read some existential thing about a lighthouse. Okay, let's try not to run into anything else. That would be awesome. I... You know, I 100% can believe that I would definitely run into something. But like, you step on the onto the dock at the Greater Mirror. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it alone. Okay, Mr. Nook. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, pay off your debt, and in turn, keep the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Sell fish to the local market. Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man or behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found one so fast. I don't know if I want to know what happened to the other one. He... It takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, though, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. Yeah, sure, let's sell it all, baby. I'll have to fix that. Get this repaired at the shipyard. And I guess this, when it's completely full, means that I will no longer have a boat. Oh, they do take those taxes, man. Mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I see you know 
I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make you something out of it. Why don't you take it? A research part? Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to take some modif make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. My good dude, it is the middle of the night. Why are these people still awake? She? It's a powerful looking lady. As you walk into the yard, you see sh the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks at you, looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors round here. Payment is up front, and everything takes time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Um... Um. Cloudy lens. Do I have any lenses at all? I'm gonna guess not. I guess that's something to save up for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe... Okay. 6 a.m. My boat is repaired. How, what do I do with the research? Sure. Sure, that'll be good. Okay. I guess we are going to go adventuring now. We have the whole day ahead of us if I can steer this without destroying anything. Okay. Now let's not completely screw this up. Okay. Oh, it's a new fish. Uh, sure. Okay. Another mackerel. Holy mackerel, it's more mackerel. I guess it's just... I don't know if I should just fish until there's no more fish to catch. Um... Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but while we're here. Okay. That there. Um. I want to see what's kind of more out, like, that way. You know? Uh, let's not hit that. Um, let's go... Can I fish in that narrow channel? Or is it going to be like, what are you doing? No, there's... There's rocks there. Um, let's fish in the open water. Um, sure. Oh god, there's so many. Oh my god. Really, that's all I got out of it was one cod, I guess, because I kept screwing up. Oh no. Okay. Alright, it's almost three. Time goes fast in this game. They're not kidding. What is... Okay. Oh. I don't have the right equipment. Oh. 
though, so there'll be spots to dredge and spots to fish. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't mind me, I can't steer a boat to save my life. And I... It will probably come to having to save my life, you know? Um, yeah, sure, let's fish here. It's gonna be more mackerels, isn't it? Only mackerel and my not surprised. Alrighty. I guess let's start heading inland. This really does take a little bit to chug along, don't it? What's that sound? Oh. I don't like that noise that it makes. Okay, I know there was rocks here somewhere. Oh, can I still fish at night? Is that a thing? I can. Uh, I can't. I don't have the equipment to dredge this. Okay. Never mind. What about here, maybe? Sure. Heck yeah. More squid. I, how did I miss that? Alrighty. I, and, okay, sure. Yeah, awesome. Oh my god. Okay. Spot has been depleted. So, can I still go f fish in the darkness? I mean, I'm gonna guess can it's just not a recommended practice um oh god i've gotten myself stuck well i haven't gotten stuck it's just i can't figure out how to turn around oh there we go okay back into shore what is that that is ominous and spooky so i guess once we're later in the game um, woman hun hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh, why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns around and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. What do you want? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? I mean, sure. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Honestly, you don't want it to spoil my good dude. I think it already has. I need to go to the fishmonger. I've had a special order come through for, from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Sure. Bring it on. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them when you have them. You don't... Need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll feed more mouths so I can pay you more for them. And do, my dude. Awesome. Debt adjusted $17. Oh. Honestly, I was expecting it. I guess I was kind of expecting Animal Crossing where it's like, surprise, you're actually going to owe so much money. Let's see what she has. Simple skimmer, a lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes time for limited reeling speed, however. Which one do I have? Mm. It's a coastal... Splintered and fragile, this rod is only capable of catching the smallest of fish. Oh. Um. 
Do I splurge on the nice one? I can't get any nets yet. Um, and I can't get a better engine. So maybe I'll get the nice one of these. That way it'll get me better fish that I can sell for more. Oh, I have to. Alrighty. Cool. Awesome. A single unlucky hit is enough to knock out an engine, and you wouldn't want to be without a motor when the fog rolls in. Awesome. I love that. Not really, but you know, here we are. Um. Okay. So. What's the fog looking like? I mean, it's not bad. Little Marrow's just across the way. I've already been there. I was there by accident, which is what always happens. I always end up in spots that I shouldn't be um, by accident. Or like spots that don't need, need to be in later by accident. So is this like technically like a shallows fish? I don't know. Will it tell me? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, hey. A great eel. Oh, that is so much easier to, like, click it other rather than, like, pressing the F button. I say, and now it's not gonna freaking work, is it? Oops. That was so easy. Okay. Be a weirdo, then, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. It- I could click once, and then it wouldn't let me do it again. That's super weird. Okay. Um... See, those look like some big fish in, like, this particular spot right here. I don't know if it's just... Oh. Oceanic. I don't... Okay, that would be why. Those are probably actually sharks. Um, and I don't have the equipment to... Bottle? Gib? Mine? Yes? Hello? Ooh. August 20... 20th, 1927. Interesting, interesting. Uh, this is probably something I need a net for, isn't it? Okay. Don't hit the rock. Alright. I'm nobody's messenger boy. I'm a delivery boy. Bad Shrek accent. Don't mind me. Shrek accent. Oh, cool, I got a flounder, um, which I can only carry one of, so that's awesome. Am I going to be able to get a bigger inventory? Uh, is, do you guys have a fishmonger? Probably not, since you're part of the Marrows, but I can... That I didn't like that noise. Hmm, what? The delivery? Let's see here. Small package removed from inventory. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Ugh, this smells foul. You obviously took your sweet time getting here with us. He won't let me pay for delivery in this state, but... Hmm. Mm. Maybe I can give you this. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're out on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Sure. I still don't have anything to give you. Okay. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, tab. That's right. Sustainable fishing. Uh, past time to read. Oh! Oh, and here's our messages. Messages? Messages. August 20th, 1927. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. And I bet you crashed your boat. I bet you, I definitely bet that you crashed your boat because you wanted to keep something. How dare you? One flounder and one eel. I have actually done that. So I can in duty, duty deliver that. We are going to... Well, I don't really have any more... Those look like stingrays. Can I fish here, or is this considered oceanic? Oh no, it's shallow. Oh, and I do have a little bit more room now. So... Oh, come on with this. Why? It is a stingray. Um, I mean... Yeah, I can move the eel. That's fine. That's not a problem. Um... And there's Molly right on cue every single time I try and record. She's a very mouthy mutt. Okay, now back across the bay before the sun does exactly that. Awesome. I just have to try and get there without hitting anything. Um, so... We're gonna see. Mmm, that panic is starting to set in. Does the eye color change if you get more panicked? I... Am I going to stop and read this? Yes. Why? A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Really? Alrighty. And we're turning. And we're going. Apparently we're reading a book, which doesn't seem like something you should be doing while driving a boat. Especially around rocky places. I hate that sound effect. Okay, so we are going to Fishmonger. Yep. Leave what you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Can do, my dude. And your flounder. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. That. I didn't read how much he gave us. Got another order here. This one's a little curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night and, well, you know what nights are like around here. I, I don't, though. That's the thing is nobody has told me what night is it. What goes on at night. So. Have you seen the strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. Yes, and what about it? Uh, I'm sure I'll sell everything. No reason not to. 77. Uh, cool. Two whole dollars. Two whole doll hairs. Have I read that book? No. Um, yeah. Two squid and black grouper. They only bite at night. Alright, I can do that. Is there a certain time after which, like, the spawn points don't spawn? <laughs> uh, I don't like being out in the fog. Apparently I'm not supposed to, but... Ah! 
There's something. Okay. It's gonna be an eel. I don't want an eel. I could have sworn I just heard something weird. water sounds are spooky. Is that a black grouper? It is indeed. Um, not there, I guess. I wonder how much these sell for. Oh, for God's sake. I hate my life. Why? Okay. Spot has been depleted. Okay. Alrighty. I swear to god, it sounds like something is, like, whispering. I can see the fisher. But where is the fishing spot? Oh, I think, is there one? Oh, is it just because I'm, like, panicking? Also, if I get too panicked, um... I... Is that just... <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, okay. Okay. Um, alright then. Is it because I was too panicked? Was I seeing things or was that real? I don't know now. Um, I mean, they stole my fish, so they. Ha they were real, right? Maybe? I, I don't know. The more fish, the merrier. I suppose. These aren't the fish I want. Like, I feel like I caught a squid, like, when it wasn't nighttime. But I... I don't know now. What? Encyclopedia. Yes, I know. Black grouper. Thank you. Um. Something slithers into your cargo hold? What do you mean something slith- Infected with what? What do you mean? Hello? What are you- Oh, it's a freaking cod. Never mind. I was like, oh, it's something new. No, it's just a stupid cod. A sea bass? It looks more like a C plus. I guess. Stop it. I, I don't want to fish for cod. Also, I got the panic eye, but it's only like one in the afternoon. There's more flounder. Oh, um. Hmm. Oh, I could just move this, I guess. So what happens if I try and sell this guy, like, infected fish? Is that gonna be bad? Um, I guess let's go- A sickly stench rises from- Is it- or does it just, like, infect everything and then- Sustainable fishing. 
Check cabin for bonuses. Yes, I... I just want to know what happens if you try and give the fishmonger infected fish. Is he going to yell at me? I really need a different motor because I am too impatient to sit here and wait. Also, it takes like five hours to get back into the dock, which is ridiculous. So... Fishmonger. You got any fish for that order? Leave whatever you have. I'll give you the not infected grouper, I suppose. Um, not a regular business. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some can tame abnormal species. Sometimes you can even tell just by looking at the surface. Okay. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. Seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks to the thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The dry dock is now operational again. You'll also I've also allocated some money to improve the fish fishmonger service. You might have something to talk about soon. Here, keep up the good or keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I crashed my boat. Um, I didn't pick to be here. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior halls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, scrap metals, that sort of things. Metal scraps. How do I get the materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards level towards upgrades will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Well, to be fair, I don't have any of anything because I guess I need a net. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess with that, now that the boat's paid off, um, I'm going to cut this here. Um, it is fantastic to be back. I am so excited to be recording again. Um, and actually, I kind of have a bigger space than I did before. Kind of. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. I want to try and put out like one video a week. I know it's not much, but I'm going to do what I can. Um, but I am just so excited to be back. I'm excited to be playing this. Um, maybe I'll get around to finishing some of the other stuff that I was working on before. Um, but yeah, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day and I will see you guys next time.